This is Life in the 1800s Newspapers, where we read old newspapers together. Today is the first video of the New York Herald from New York. In the 1800s, photography was fairly new and people loved to fool around with photoshopping. As you can see by these photos scrolling across your screen, they were pretty good at it. Now, before you blow a gasket, we better get started with our newspaper. This edition of the New York Herald is dated Monday, May 4th, 1891. Notice, the Uptown Branch office of the Herald is at the corner of 5th Avenue and 23rd Street, open day and night for the reception of advertisements and sale of papers. At the Bijou Theatre, Broadway, near 30th Street, tonight, a novelty and genuine hit, O'Dowd's Neighbors, a regular laugh provoker, the latest and most novel features. These Indians are disgusted. Black River Falls, Wisconsin, May 3rd, 1891. The Indians, who have attempted to raise crops on the sand hills, which were given them by the government, are a demoralized and discouraged set, and it is no wonder. They have made three consecutive attempts at farming on their barren land, and scored a failure each time. So now they have given up work and passed their time in playing moccasin and euchre. People would put advertisements in the personals of the New York Herald in order to hook up. Meet me, same restaurant, 6.30 this evening, Raisins. Q. My fault. Carry the letter downtown. Will be on hand at 11 if it don't rain. Short engagement. Awfully busy. P. Will blonde lady going Sunday afternoon from 8th to 27th Street communicate?
three bridge tickets, a faded flower, some bomb bets of lemon sour, a dry goods bill that would appall, and 30 cents. That's all. Sunday on the ball field. More than 1,100 people brave the threatening weather to witness the opening game of the semi-professional league series between the Senators and the Gorums of Recreational Park yesterday. Besides baseball, did you know that the pedestrian race was all the rage in the 1800s, bringing thousands out to watch? A pedestrian race was a walking race that would last several days. Here's a video clip in the 20s when the race was still very popular. It's April 17, 1926, and here's start of hike from nation's capital to Baltimore over almost 50 miles of hard surfaced highway. It's test not only of endurance, but speed, and only hardiest hoofers will make punishing journey from start to finish. Clockers and seconds accompany some contestants. Officials and judges are strung out along entire course. Of eight women contestants in walk, none finishes. This is Miss Elizabeth Miller. And this is Private Earl Olson of Camp Mead, Maryland crossing finish line at City Hall, Baltimore, to cop top prize in contest. Winner Olsen, who really had his feet on the ground. <laughs> 